Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 40 of 100 days 100 concepts. Today in this video, I want to explain you sign conventions of stress tensor. So basically, uh, I have already briefly explained about this in uh, stress tensor video, but I have uh, got a query in order to explain how, you know, uh, can we take this particular, you know, shear stress positive or negative of course i have covered this also in more circle but you know i just want to uh, put this particular topic in a separate video so i bought you this so yeah so in this video uh let's see about the description that means how you can easily you know convention sign convention use sign convention for values of stress so basically uh, if you take at a particular point so let's say this is a body okay so as you can clearly see these are the tensile stresses that are applied right so the normal stresses are the tensile stresses and these are basically taken to be positive similarly on the same body if the stress states are reversed the normals you know um, stresses are reversed then we usually say these are compression or these are compressive stresses which basically we take them to be negative values right so now this is clear one thing uh, many people confuse is about this shear stress okay so how to take whether it is positive or negative so we all know what is a shear stress and how we usually denote it okay right so we know we usually denote it with the help of tau ij so what are these i and j over here so these are nothing but the uh, different axis so what is i i indicates the shear stress okay whatever stress that is acting it is acting on a plane that is perpendicular to this particular i axis correct so that means i is nothing but the plane normal axis okay so i you can take it as a plane normal direction to the plane on which this particular shear stress is acting simple so as you can see here you can always uh, take it as a plane normal direction and what is j j is nothing but the direction of the shear stress which is you know acting on that particular plane okay so if you just take an example of tau xy so tau xy is nothing but the shear stress that is acting on a plane which is perpendicular to my x axis that means this x e is my plane normal similarly in what direction this stress is acting on that particular plane in my y direction okay so this is how basically you um, tend to describe a shear stress okay so i hope you understood this description of how you basically you know uh, explain any tau ij right now comes the bigger part which is sign convention so basically as you can see over here this sign convention is different which we have considered uh, in more circle right so in more circle what we saw we saw that any uh, value which is you know uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise uh, determines whether it is positive or negative but here basically when you talk about stress description at any point you usually take this as the stresses so as you can see this is the shear stress over here similarly here these are the shear stresses so let me take this case over here right so in this case as you can see if the shear stresses are pointing towards the positive quadrant and the negative quadrant both of them right so that means positive y and positive x correct so if my shear stresses are pointed towards these values or similarly here negative x negative y this quadrant so if these are pointing towards these particular quadrants then i can take that particular shear stress to be positive whereas uh, what is negative negative is just opposite so if one of them okay so if one of them is positive and the other is negative then you can say that it is negative that means the quadrants here are considered are plus x and minus y and the other is minus x and plus y okay so if my stress values are pointed towards these quadrants you can say that this is a negative shear stress so what i was telling previously is uh, about more circle right so if you go back to more circle what you find over there is this thing okay so yeah if you did not watch the video please go and watch this particular video the, the same diagram i have explained there right so if you want to denote 
the shear stresses the sign convention that is used in construction of mohr circle is quite different so what is here so let's say this is my tau xy and this is my tau yx so according to the convention we saw both are into positive so it is a positive shear stress but when you are talking about individual so if you want to give an individual sign convention uh, let's say tau xy and tau yx so if you want to give conventions to them then comes a you know torque effect that means yeah, whether it is in a clockwise rotation or an anti clockwise rotation so let's say tau xy itself so it is providing a anti clockwise uh, you know rotation so it is taken as negative shear stress whereas this tau yx over here it is providing a clockwise rotation so clockwise rotations are taken to be positive okay so here in this video we have discussed about three kinds of uh, you know uh, sign conventions one how you can easily describe the normal stresses which is tensile stress or compressive stress whereas we also saw what uh, is tau ij and similarly you can we saw that how you know uh, you can easily express express uh, the sign convention for the shear stresses okay so here we saw a different shear uh, convention whereas whereas you uh, go for the mohr circle uh, construction there you will be quite different you will be taking quite different okay so i hope you like this video if you like it please hit the like button and also do share with all the metallurgy gate aspirants and definitely do check out everything metallurgy.com to get one of the most affordable test series right so we are providing about 60 tests at an affordable price of 899 rupees only so do check out and you know enroll under us to create that mock you know gate examination uh, atmosphere right so i hope you um, you'll support us many people have already enrolled under us and also we have one of the best video courses so do check out everything at in order to find them right so that's it from my side for this video meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept thank you guys